We're back with episode 34 of We to Hyperion. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, then make sure to check out the playlist in the description. Also, if you've not already entered the Hyperion giveaway, then make sure to comment your IGN on episode 1 of We to Hyperion. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you all do enjoy. Now, if you've not watched the last episode, then I'd recommend watching it. It was a complete and utter disaster, and we lost a lot of coins. Regardless of that, we ended the video with 164 mil in the purse, and... Um, we had a few items um, that were actually up and listed, and they've all sold, uh, so we'll go ahead and collect our coins. Um, so we've got about 450 mil to collect, which leaves us on about 609 mil, which means that basically we've not made any money in like two episodes, which is actually quite embarrassing considering I have quite a lot of money to flip with. Now the cheapest Hyperion is currently 690 million coins, um, so I mean that's our target. And we can actually almost afford, we're literally like 20k off being able to afford a Necron's handle. Um, so that actually might be something to look into, maybe crafting our own rather than buying one. Because I, I, I think we could probably make our own and upgrade it for cheaper than the ones that, that are currently listed. Nevertheless, we'll still need the coins to actually upgrade it. Um, so we've still got a, you know a bit to go. So fingers crossed today's episode is going to actually be productive and we're not going to regress like the last two videos. Um, so let's just get into it. So the first flip of the video is this Necron chest plate. It is four star ancient recombobulated hot potatoed with strength and health gemstones on it. We picked it up for 39.9 mil and we can sell this on for about 42.5 mil somewhere around that sort of area. Okay so we've just picked up these wither goggles. Um, they're recombobulated with one star and pretty much like you see nothing else on it. We picked them up for 12 million coins and for some reason they're actually really expensive at the moment. The cheapest, well, the next cheapest one's almost 15 mil. So we can sell ours on for about 14.5 mil and that's a good profit. So I found a bit of a flip here but I am reluctant to buy it. It is this giant sword um, and as you can see it's 5 star fuming potato fabled recombobulated with the gemstone and the art of war as well. As you can see here it's listed for 178 mil. The next cheapest one is actually um, 186.4. So I was thinking if I sell this for 185 then after the listing fees and tax I'm going to make like 3.5 mil profit. I don't know how long it's going to take to sell. I, I just I'm trying to weigh up if it's worth it. So I'm going to try and find a few more flips. And if it's if it's still there in like five minutes, I might I might go for it. But I can't really make my mind up at the moment. Other than that, um, it looks like this Necron chest plate did sell. Um, so that was a good like. In fact, it was more than two mil profit. Um, so that was very nice. And we'll go ahead and collect that. So we have gone for the giant sword, um, we're going to list it up for 185 mil like I've literally just said. So we've actually just got a really really good deal, um, we've just picked up this Necron chest plate. As you can see it's got a Grove 6, a Master Star, Recombobulate Ancient, Fuming Potatoed, with Legion 3 as well. We got it for 46 mil, now considering the cheapest bin from a 5 star Recombobulated Hot Potatoed is 45 mil, we should be able to make a lot of profit off this, so I'm going to go ahead and see how much we can actually sell it on for. So here, as you can see, the next one that's basically similar to it is 52 mil, but this one isn't fuming and it doesn't have growth six. Um, so I think we're going to list ours up for probably about 55 mil. Um, it might take a while to sell, but that's going to make us a nine mil profit after tax and everything. It's probably going to make us like at least seven and a half mil, which really you can't argue with whatsoever. And we've also just found a Necron chest plate. This one is um, the cheapest master star five star ancient recombobulate on the market. It's got growth six again. It's actually fairly similar to the one that we just picked up, other than the one we picked up on Legion three. Um, we should be able to sell this on for about 50 million coins, maybe a little bit more, because that's the cheapest master star one. So we've just picked up this livid dagger. It is one for old five star withered, and it is fuming potato as well. We picked it up for 19 mil, and we should be able to sell it on for between 20.5 to 21 mil. Yeah, so we just missed like um, a five or six mil flip on this shadow assassin chest plate for 21 mil. To be fair, I probably wasn't even close to getting it. I did. Oh, I only got on it after a minute, so someone probably bought that straight away. But still, it's a little bit annoying. Um, considering I actually did, you know, I could click on it and everything. But oh well. Um, to be fair, this episode's not going too badly compared to the other episode. Like, I haven't actually been going for that long at the moment. And we've got some decent flips. So, we've just picked up this Shadow Assassin chest plate. It is ancient, five star, hot potatoed, recombobulated. We got this for. 27.9 mil and we can sell this on for about 30 mil. So we've just picked up this giant sword um, for 150 mil um, but I've got a plan. So if we look at the market at the moment for giant swords, um, cheapest one's 151 mil, that's fine. The cheapest one we've won for all is 169 mil. Okay granted it's got hot potato books on it, it's two starred so let's say that's 
without the hot potato books that's probably worth like what 168 167 um, so what I'm gonna do is um, so considering we've paid like I said um, we've paid what well, we paid we've paid 150 mil for this I'm gonna buy one for our book we're gonna add the one for our book onto the giant sword and then we're gonna see what profit we can make from it so as you can see we up for 10 mil so we've spent 160 mil and the cheapest is actually 169 mil so we're gonna go ahead put this book on the giant sword and uh, see what profit we can actually make 45 levels of XP I guess I'm sort of cheating the system there but you know it's not it's not really gonna make a massive difference so yeah now we're gonna sell it on I'm not sure how much we I don't know I'm not sure maybe like 167 yeah I think we'll sell it for 167 mil I feel like that's a fair price and um, that should leave us with like three and a half to four mil profit after the listing fees and everything like that we just got this storm chest plate it is well it's actually got a master star on it as well recombobulated hot potatoed wisdom 5 ancient um, we got it for where is it now 30 no, well, 40 million coins and we can sell this one for just over 43 mil I'm not sure how long this is going to take to sell hopefully not too long so we've just got this shadow assassin chest plate um, we got it for how much was it now 25 points, so quite 26 million coins. Um, it's five star ancient, hot potatoed. Um, we can sell this on for about 27.1 at the moment. So it's been about an hour since the last flip, and um, only one of our items was sold, which is slightly annoying. Nevertheless, it was an item that I thought might have taken a while to sell. Um, but yeah, this isn't too bad. I think we made like over three and a half mil off this flip. I think we bought it for 39 mil, so really can't complain with that. So we'll go ahead and collect it. Um, up to 92 million coins that means we can get a couple more flips in um, if everything was to sell at this point for the price that it will sell for um, we'll be on about 636 mil um, which obviously takes us a lot closer the cheapest necron handle is still basically 610 mil that would leave us 25 million to um, to make the hyperion and put things on it which realistically isn't isn't enough to make it to make it really that good um, so we need to make probably say at least another like 20 to 25 mil until we can start about thinking crafting it if we go down that route either that the other option is i could try and lowball someone who's selling one at the moment um let's have a see what we've got on the market obviously i'm not even in a position to do this yet but like this one for 690 mil i mean it'd be quite a lowball if i got it for like 30 mil under but you know what i mean i can start i can sort of start to make a decision when i get a bit closer but nevertheless, it's, things are looking up. So it looks like our one of our giant swords have sold, and this one here for 185 mil. The one I think we bought it for 178. So in the end, I think we ended up making about three mil profit somewhere around that margin. So we'll collect those coins. That means we're back up to 275 mil, which is good because that means that I um, basically my options for snipes have now opened up a little bit more to what they were just then. Um, so yeah, it's, it's looking good to be honest. So it looks like I think the Living Dagger's sold as well. Um, so we actually, I think we bought that for 19 mil, so that's um, that's, a, that's a good bit of profit as well. Um, so we're almost up to 300 mil now, um, and I'm just, I mean, I'm trying to find a few flips, but it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult at this time, to be honest. But, yeah, oh well. So we've just picked up this Living Dagger. Um, it's completely plain, but it has one throw on it. We got it for 16 mil. We can sell this on for about 17.5. So we've just picked up this Storm's chest plate. It's five star ancient, recombobulated and hot potatoed. Pretty much the usual if we're gonna pick up a chest plate like this. We got it for 36.9 mil and we can sell this on for about 39.5. So it looks like one of our Necron chest plates did sell. Uh, this one, I think we bought that one for 47 mil. Um, so after tax we would have made literally like three mil profit. So that was a really nice snipe in the end. It didn't take too long to sell either Consider it was master starred. So, yeah, that's good stuff. So we've just picked up this minor staff. This time, I double, triple, and quadruple checked so that it was over 100 million value. Um, it is, I mean, it's pretty much a bog standard one. It's recombobulated. It does have smite seven. It's not fuming though. It just has hot potato on it. So that's fine. We got that for 125 million coins. And I think we can sell that on for about 132. I'm just going to double check the price. Yeah, I'm probably thinking around the 132 mil region because it does have smite seven on. So none of the other ones do that are around the price um, so we should be able to make a good few mil off this so we've just picked up this necron chest plate it is master starred legion 3 recombobulated 
ancient hot potatoed. In fact, I think it's actually literally well very similar to this. Other than it's um, other than it's not fuming. Um, so we picked up for 52 mil. In hindsight, this wasn't actually a good buy. Um, I didn't really consider that mine had fuming, and this was just hot potatoed. Regardless of that, um, we're going to list it up for 54 mil, and hopefully by the time I come around to making the next episode, that might even be the finale, the stream. Um, they've just sold, fingers crossed anyway. So this is going to be just about the end of the video. Now, as you can see, we have quite a few coins still in our purse, but I can't really find any more snipes, and it is getting late, and I need to finish the video. <laughs> so, once everything does sell, <laughs> including the coins in our purse, we should be up to about 643 mil. Um, obviously that puts us quite close to a Hyperion. If we crafted it ourselves, we could probably do it. Maybe we need an extra 20 million just to upgrade it a little bit more, but that can be done in the next episode. But, there'll be more on that. Now, I'm thinking, providing things sell and um, prices stay similar, that this is going to be the last episode and the next quote unquote episode won't actually be an ep episode, it'll be a stream and that will be tomorrow uh, it's going to be a long stream, it's going to be during the day if you're not already in the discord, make sure to join the discord because that's where we'll be posting all the updates and basically telling everyone what time the stream is going to be at and so on I'll also post that on the YouTube uh, community section as well um, so if you're not in the discord and you don't have discord then you can find it there as well but if this is the last episode, which I think it probably will be in a video format, then it's been a roller coaster of emotions. It really has. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you just think about where my channel was at at the start of this series compared to now, it's pretty mad. And to be honest, at this point, I just can't wait to get the Hyperion and um, make someone's day by giving it to them. So make sure, make sure, just, just make sure you're free tomorrow so you can watch the stream because it's not one that you want to miss. But like I said, this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. Make sure to stay tuned to your boy because you all know there's probably going to be a very similar series coming up after this one. I'm not going to, I mean, I don't 100% know what I'm doing yet, but I'm not going to spoil anything. Just wait and see. You know, why not? It's going to be very similar. Regardless of that, like I said, this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you do leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one.